Good morning, sunshines. Listen, we're going to do a lot of self-care and cooking, and I'm going to be sharing with you all some stellar um, hygiene tips, and I will leave them in the description. So if you don't catch it on the video, I will leave each one in the description. So make sure you check there. But it's been long overdue, you guys. I don't be do. I haven't been doing a lot of self care um, videos lately. But trust you me, I be doing it. It's just be off camera. But I wanted to let you guys know how um, I've been consistent with dry brushing, and it's been really helping my skin to feel soft and all that good stuff. So I'm just touching up my toenails because we can't be out in these streets with no. <laughs> messed up toenails too long and all that stuff but anyway i'm just doing a little maintenance self-care here and just really want to encourage you guys i don't care if it's five ten minutes a day do something for your mental space do something to take care of your body you only get one body you only get one life you guys do as much as you can with the body you have i don't care if you got motor love i don't care if you got extra love handles do something for yourself today. And y'all know I'm a hairy girl. So while I'm washing my face, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this hair off um, on my face. But y'all, it doesn't cost you nothing to get up an hour early or 30 minutes early and just spend that little time with yourself. I mean, like I said, if you are not OK mentally, everything else going to trickle down and spiral out of control. Take care of your mental health, you guys. It's so important. With the way the world is now, you need to fill your mind up with much positivity and much of God's word if you're a Christian um, as possible. Because with all the news and bad news and all that stuff with social media, you know, everybody get their news from social media now. It can bombard you and have you feeling overwhelmed. So take some time out for yourself today. And so I'm going to go in with a face mask. Because I haven't did one in probably about a month. So, yeah, it was long overdue. I'm telling you guys, I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Life be life and y'all. And you just be going through the motions. And you look up, it be two, three months. You still ain't did nothing for yourself. So, let this be your reminder that it's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to do a little bit for yourself. It does not matter what you do. I don't care what you do. Do something today for yourself, guys. I even went so far as to put on my gloves to uh, soak my hands. You know, my gloves, um, glove, a mask for my, my hands, and then my lip mask. That That's so funny to me because them things don't hardly ever stay on, but... When I tell y'all, when you take them little gloves off, your hands be so soft and you just rub that stuff in to your hands. And I promise you, it's going to be really soft, you guys. So I hope this be a little motivation for you guys to get up and do something for yourself today. Do something for yourself. I promise you, your future self will thank you if you just take a little time out of your day to... um do something for yourself and once i take this off my lips was super super kissable soft you guys i'm telling you guys listen i don't know about you but honey i love 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 my lips to be soft i don't mess around with stuff like that so but yeah make sure you are doing something y'all see that look at that just really super super soft you guys oh my god All right, you guys, so it's time to cook. Yep, I'm having some smothered baked chicken. And I had a little bit of leftover greens. And I'm going to have some biscuits. So, listen, if your food, if you cook a lot and you, you didn't get a chance to eat it all in the week, if it's still good, don't go spending money to buy something else to cook. Cook what you have at home. I promise you guys, that'll help you cut down on food waste. It'll help you cut down on saving money. Because I'm telling you, with the economy now, I don't really stock up on food. Because it's like... The meats and stuff, they don't like, they expire so quick. Like, I buy a thing of milk in a couple of days, it's smelling weird. I'm like, back in the day, you used to could stock up on meats and put them in the freezer. Honey, you don't want to do that now. 
Because nine times out of ten, when they be marking the meats down in Walmart, it's probably already close to the due date. So either you got to cook it up that day. You can't freeze it. You got to cook it up that day or it's just going to go bad when you unfreeze it. So I buy food like my meats and stuff when I see that I'm going to have a meal and I got the ingredients. Otherwise, I don't do a lot of stocking. Now, I stock up on snacks and stuff because that's non-perishable. But like my meats and stuff. I buy that as I as I get ready to use it because, honey, ain't nobody got time to be throwing out food. Food costs too expensive. And, and let me just say this. I went to buy my babies a bag of chips the other day from Kroger's. $5.99, $6 and something for a bag of chips. A big bag. I'm like, it used to be $2 and something. What? I mean, with this economy, honey, you better eat your food up at your house. And all this eating out and stuff i've been trying to make sure that i eat in because that way i know what i'm getting i'm trying to cut back on eating out as much but on them days where i don't feel like eating feel like cooking we eat whatever's in there or we order i ain't gonna lie we do order takeout because i'm not cooking every day that's that's we're not doing that but i'm just saying how stuff is so expensive now it's like are you trying to make us homeless are you trying to starve us because it's just too much. And especially when it's just one income in the household. Oh my God. But yeah, I'm just baking this. I'm making, I'm have to use two skillets because I told you I need some pots and pans. But um, I'm going to bake enough to last a couple of days. And trust you me, we did eat off of this for a few days because, like I said, ain't nobody got time to be wasting, wasting food. So, so yeah. Tell y'all, I enjoy, I enjoy cooking this meal. It's nothing like fixing a healthy meal for your family. I'm telling you, it goes a long ways, y'all. I'm telling you, it's it just it's just one of those things. Cooking makes me happy. It's like my little love language. I love when my family and I can sit down and people eat my food. That just makes me happy. What you saying, huh? What you saying, huh? Check. 
believe it or not, I I always used to make my gravy, but I had never um, put whipping cream in it. But whipping cream makes it get a little bit thicker, y'all. So, and I added some flour because y'all know that homeschool gravy just hit different when you make it at homeschool. I mean, old school way, you know, the old fashioned way. But it just hit a little different. But yeah, it smells so good, y'all. I can't wait to tear into this. Do y'all hear me? Yes. you guys so as i promised earlier in the video i was going to give you guys some hygiene tips y'all know the summertime is coming and i want all my sunshines to be ready and i will have these linked down in the description so if you miss it just go down in the description i have them all there for you guys um the first one i will always say get your base clean I actually just got out the shower, but my soap is in the shower. But y'all know by now what a gold bar of antibacterial soap looks like. If you don't, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. And wash your base good. If you, I promise you, if you get that base clean, and I'm going to be putting on some. This right here came from TJ Maxx, y'all. $6.99. When I tell y'all this stuff is so good, it's the almond. Let me, let me do this. Almond, see if y'all can see. Almond butter, soothing calm, almond milk, and manuka honey. When I tell y'all this stuff is the bomb.com, it's my baby's, but since she is school, don't tell nobody. I'm going to put a little bit on, you know, myself. But yeah, make sure you get your base clean. All that other stuff is fun stuff. But if you don't get that base clean, I'm telling you, you can put on all the smell goods you want. Your secret is still going to tell you out. So get your base clean. And like I said, you can't go wrong with a bar of Dial antibacterial soap. And then the next hygiene tip that I want to share with you guys, shower at least twice a day, at least in the morning and at night. Because I'm telling you, I don't know about y'all, but I can't take a shower in the night and then get up in the morning and just put my clothes on. Because, girl, I be doing too much sweating. And between perimenopause and perimenopause and premenopause, honey, I can't afford to. I be sweating too much in my sleep. And I can't get up and just put on clothes. You know, I can't do it. You know, maybe some people can do it, but I ain't that one. God didn't bless my body chemistry like that. But make sure you shower at least twice a day. If you extra like me, it may go up to three in the summertime. I ain't going to lie to you, especially if I feel icky or something. I'm telling you, I'm just going to hop my little self right on in the shower. I ain't at my mama's house no more. I ain't got to worry about the water bill. I pay the bills over here. So if I need to get my little self in there and get in and refresh, then that's what I'm going to do. And then the next one, I detox uh, my armpits once a week. And I just did this. So let me, let me move. I'm going to show you guys this what I've been using, uh, and it works, you guys. If you follow me on TikTok, you know I've been raving about this, but it's the Grossier Underarm Detox Scrub. It's 100% vegan and cruelty-free, 
peppermint and aloe vera, aloe vera and walnut shell power. I use, you can use this up to three times a week. So I've been using this faithfully for the last three weeks and my arms feel a whole lot better. You know, just when you get that stickiness under your arm, it feel like every time you, no matter how many times you take a shower, your arm still feels sticky when you put the deodorant on. Just take a break and detox your armpits. And I'm telling you, I like to do this in the morning and then I go on about and do what I'm going to do for about 20 minutes or so. Then I wipe it out and then do this. Because you do it on clean arms. Today, I forgot and I did it on, you know, before I got in the shower. But I just let it sit on my arms for a good couple of minutes and then wipe it out. And I'm telling you, I even did this one night and went to bed. And believe it or not, I wasn't as musty. I wasn't sweaty, sweaty. But I wasn't fresh, fresh. But I wanted to give my arm a break at night. So detox your armpits at least twice a week, you guys. And I'll try to find a link. But if you follow me on TikTok, you can grab this in my TikTok shop. So make sure y'all follow me over there on TikTok. Even though TikTok shop be doing some crazy stuff, be messing up my stuff. When I say y'all, TikTok shop make me want to quit. Because there's so many little things they nitpick. You get violations and all that kind of stuff. And then they suppress your views. So my shop, my videos, they got links to them. I don't get any views to them. It, it's crazy. But anyway, that's not that's neither here nor there. And then the next one is dry brushing. Oh, Lord. I should have had all this stuff out. But I thought about this while I was in the shower, y'all. So just forgive me. But um, dry brushing, y'all. If y'all could do this at least once a day before you get in the shower on dry skin, if y'all want some baby soft skin, start dry brushing your whole body. If you want some baby bottom soft skin, dry brushing is going to help get you there. And you do that on dry skin, you guys. You don't have to do this. You don't do this on wet skin. You do this on dry skin. And I've been having to hide this because my baby. Y'all comment below if y'all got daughters. But they said when you have daughters, they just give you a taste of your medicine. I said, I must was all up in my mama's stuff because, oh, uh, baby girl just come in the bathroom tell my mama, I'm finna go shopping. I be like, where you finna go shopping in? In your bathroom. You always got the good stuff. I'm like, but this is my bathroom. This is my stuff. What's yours is mine, so mama. You already know how this goes. So I don't even fight no more. I just let her, I just let her have her little stuff. If that makes her happy, put a smile on her face, then that's what I'm gonna do. But my perfumes and stuff, body oil, hygiene stuff. If I can't find it, all I got to do is go in there to little bit's bathroom because she, she got it somewhere up in there and, 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 and she got just as much hygiene stuff as I got, but for some reason, she feels the need to come in my bathroom, you see. But anyway, dry brush, you guys. And then layer your scents. So if you want, if you got perfume, y'all, hold, hold it up. All right, yeah. So the next hygiene tip is layering your scents. If you want your scents to last longer, it starts in the shower. Once you've cleaned your base, this one right here is. If y'all been following me for a while, y'all know for a while I had a hard time finding this scent, the Olay Fresh Outlast Watermelon in Agave. When I tell y'all this is some some, it smells so doggone good. I can't even explain. It's sweet. If y'all love sweet scents. Just imagine watermelon and a guave. And y'all know, if y'all follow me on TikTok, this is my latest baby. This Kisa Pink. When I tell y'all this stuff smells so good, I've been, I've been wearing it nonstop. You know how you just spray it happy-go-lucky? These two right here, oh, honey, it might get you in a little trouble, you know. Just might get you in a little trouble. Not too much, but it may be too much for some of y'all to bear. These two right here. Oh, girl. Girl, what I tell you. And then, you know, if you want to use this Vaseline balm, I've been using it for a while. But y'all, so I always use Vaseline, but you can use this to put in like your, this point, you know, this right here behind your ears, you know, since I done showered and everything. Good. Girl, behind them knees, because you know it's going to be summertime. You know the girl, you know we have our legs out, because I'm going to have mine out, sister. I have my legs out, and when I walk past people, you know, that and your ankles and stuff, you want, you want that scent to do the talking for you. You don't want to do a lot of talking. You just want to do a lot of walking and let that scent hit them. 
in the face, you see. <laughs> I told mama, I said, mama, your, your baby girl might get in a little trouble this summer. I might, I just feel it coming on. But I'm grown. <laughs> Real grown. <laughs> it's okay to get in a little trouble every now and again. But honey, when I tell y'all, if you let that scent right, you ain't gonna have to do no talking. You ain't gonna have to say a word, honey. You just walk on by. Yep, that's all you're gonna have to do is walk on by. And honey, that scent gonna do the talking for you. So that's uh what I recommend. And then my my last two tips is use you a feminine wash. If you can't use this, because you know this is my favorite feminine wash, the down there wash. Um, aloe base cleanser, pH balance, all that. Y'all know I've been raving about this for a long time. Make sure you're using your feminine wash, but non-scented. And if you can't use this feminine wash, use your unscented Dove sensitive bar soap and keep your girl down there fresh. Keep you some, y'all know you look to go bad. Keep it with you at all times because in these hot summer streets, girl, they get a little hot and you get a little sweating and stuff down there. So you want to make sure you have something to freshen up I like to keep these deodorant wipes. I got some in my car too, but I keep these in the back of my stool as well. But y'all, when I tell y'all, do that and then drink as much water as you can. I'm on my seven day detox. This is the one I had from this morning, but I'm doing two smoothies, one for breakfast, one for lunch. In between, drink as much water, eat healthy snacks. Yesterday, my snack was carrots and ranch dressing. So for dinner, I eat clean eat baked food, all that stuff. So I'm trying to clean myself out, get right, you guys. So, but drink as much water as you can. I'm telling you, it will help. Have to practice what I preach, you know. But y'all, if y'all ain't follow me on TikTok, follow me and go to my TikTok shop and grab y'all this. When I tell y'all, I ain't good with the notes and all that stuff, but y'all listen. Y'all know I, I don't stare y'all wrong. Oh, it just it just smells so good. But that's my tips. I'm going to start doing these every video. Give you guys either hygiene tips or cleaning tips or some kind of life lesson tips. Y'all know how I do it. So I want to make sure I'm giving y'all value. You see what I'm saying? So let me know what y'all thoughts are about this segment in the vlog. Because y'all know I have to give my girls something that's going to help them. I can't just be on here cleaning. It's good to clean. It's good to clean and all that good stuff. It's great. But I make sure I want to incorporate some tips for you guys as well. So I'm going to get back to cleaning. But I'm going to do a little self-care too. Um, so just wherever this is going to be at. This is where this part will be at.